What's up, Neil Geeks, and welcome to my massive Hearts and Promises Black Friday video. We have a massive amount of polishes to check out. I think if I'm counting correctly, 15 I have to show you guys. We've got a Black Friday quad, and we've got another quad for her um, velvet collection, which will have a fifth piece to it that will be her uh, December polish pickup to go along with that. And I have an eight piece, no, six piece set for Christmas vacation. This is a uh, part two to that specific holiday series. So without further ado, grab a snack, get comfy, let's dive right in. Now we're gonna start off with the uh, one-off Christmas vacation part two batches. These are inspired by everyone's favorite aunt, Bethany. There are no recipes recorded for these, so once they sell out, they are done. And here we have Aunt Bethany herself. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys my descriptions of what I'm seeing in person. So uh, just bear with me here. I never fancied myself being very good at that, but we'll see. We're, I'm going to do my best. So Aunt Bethany to me is a linear holographic finish. I think it's a cool toned, deep jewel toned type of purple base. There's quite a bit of holographic effect here. You'll see it in the sunshine. And I'm also seeing these little pink metallic flakes. They are of the tiny size and they give this strong, but very, very small type of metallic like reflect twinkle. I'm going to suggest going to three coats with this as it does have a jellyish sort of formula to it and a glossy top coat to get that hollow to sing. And I think you'll be good to go. And here we've got Did I Break Wind? And what I'm seeing to me is a cool toned taupe like base with a strong pink lean to it because it does have a pinky sort of shimmer. I'm also seeing these really small multi chrome like flakes and the flakes are not quite iridescent. They are what I consider true multi chrome. They are not uh, like see through. They're like foil like pieces, if you will. So on this one, I'm also going to suggest three coats as it was very curly like on application, easy to build up. And despite being um, taupe and a very neutral type color, I do feel like this popped very well on myself because it's got that very cool toned effect overall. I had no issues for those little tiny flakes, but I would suggest a good glossy top coat. And here we've got I love writing in cars. This is what, to me, a cool toned berry like base that has a linear hollow finish. And we've also got some more little tiny particle multi-chrome flex going through it too. Now this one leaned very, very jelly like on the formula. So I'm going to suggest going up to three coats here and you'll have the maximum payoff for that beautiful rainbow like effect. I'm also seeing a bit of a golden shimmer, as you can see, as I build it up more and more. It's got warmth of an inner glow from the shimmer, but it's also very cool toned in the base color. So really popping if you've got medium to deep skin tones. And again, three coats and a glossy top coat is my recommendation. And here we've got is Rusty still in the navy. This is also a very deep jewel toned like purple. I think it's got more of an indigo lean to it at certain angles. If you're curious how this one compares to Aunt Bethany, that first one, I think Aunt Bethany is more of a true type of purple, like a medium purple. And this one to me is a cool, deep toned purple that has more of an indigo lean. So we've got another linear hollow effect, and I'm also seeing tiny little sparks going through here too. These look less metallic than the others in the in the series, and I think that they're more hollow flex, if I'm going to take a, a guess at that. Once again, three coats and a glossy top coat. And here we've got, is this the Airport Clark? This is what I would describe as being a sage green base. There are a rainbow of colorful flat matte sort of glitters going throughout it. And we've also got some silver reflective glitter here too. This is a really lovely type of finish. I really enjoyed how this one looked on myself. It does have a richer type formula. So if you have shorties or just a tiny bit of a lesser free edge than what I've got on my falsies here, I think two coats would be perfect. But if you're rocking a free edge of some type, I think three coats is going to really plump this one out the best. I will almost always take things up to three coats though, because I just like that thicker type of look. Now I did have some texture from those little rainbow glitters and the reflective glitter. So I would suggest a glitter smoothing top coat. And then finally for the Christmas vacation prototypes, we've got play ball. 
This is what I would describe as a really heavily flirting with neon medium blue sky blue type of base. And we've also got some fun circular rainbow type matte glitters. And I'm seeing a generous sprinkling of a scattered holographic effect. This has a very strong creamy like feel on application. I think two coats is going to be the best and it self levels really well. This is a very forgiving formula. Now I did have a bit of fishing for those glitters. So I would suggest leaving your bottle upside down and giving it a good shake before applying. And then here we've got the uh, Velvet Polishes Quad. These are going to go along with her December Polish Pickup Shade. Unfortunately, I don't have a sneak peek of that as I have not finished that yet. It's been very, very busy. Uh, PPU is coming up this week, though. All right. So in our PR information, it does state that each of the polishes in her Black Velvet Quad all have the same, essentially the same effect to them. They're just different respective colors. So gold is our... Uh, gold pigment and a black tinted base. I think two coats is perfect for opacity. Now, please note that the velvet quad is intended to be worn matte. So because I'm a glossy gal, I did uh, break the rules and I wore a gloss, but I also topped with a matte top coat so we can see how they're intended to look. These do dry down semi flat though. So if you're wanting it to be a harsh matte, like what I have on the video, then you're going to need to finish with a matte top coat. If you're ever curious what type of top coats and whatnot that I'm using in videos, please check my description as I always try to list them there. And here we've got green velvet. Now the green pigment in this to me is like a forest green. It's almost playing up with uh, whatever is giving it that velvety sort of look in that uh, lightly tinted base. And I think it's giving it almost like a silvery sort of sheen. Now, green velvet has a little bit more of a lighter formula than gold velvet. So I decided to take it up to three coats. The formula on all four of these, though, is incredibly smooth. I was very impressed with how easy it was. It was like room temperature butter on hot toast. Very, very satisfying. Going in matte with this one on that full hand shot, um, the matte top coat did take a minute to set in but my swatch photo here I think gives a better idea of what it looks like mattified really really cool and then pink velvet uh, to me has a very deep vampy type of pink appearance to it it's definitely got a strong chrome like pink look you can see how satisfying that paddle brush is on this first coat here uh, pink also leaned like green to me where it had just a touch of a lighter type formula. So I also took this one up to three coats too. And the buildup on this one was wonderful. I think you can wear them both mat both mattified and glossy. They, they just look really, really pretty either way. When you go in with them mattified, I think this is gonna be a fantastic base for some holiday nail art. Um, I think some nice silver metallic line art would look really cool with these or even like ornament stamps. That would look super pretty. I am planning on doing a Christmas special episode for you guys next month. Fingers crossed. I'm hoping after Thanksgiving, things kind of calm down a little bit for posting. No complaints here there. I always appreciate being busy. Now, Purple Velvet is the last one in the quad, and this has that lovely jewel toned type purple. And I really appreciated how the purple to this. How many times can I say <laughs> that word? I really appreciated how glowing it looked on this one. It, it popped ridiculously well against that uh, lightly tinted base and the uh, blackened sort of smoky effect in the background. This had the lightest in formula out of the four. So once again, I took it up to three coats. Now I will note uh, just to throw it out there. In my opinion, if you're going to wear a polish mattified, I would strongly suggest you still use your quick dry glossy top coat or your normal glossy top coat of some sort. And then your final layer, you want it to be your matte top coat. That way your glossy top coat is going to give you that thick protection over your nails. In my experience, matte top coats aren't the most long lasting in terms of longevity compared to their glossy partners. And then finally, we have the uh, Black Friday quad. So the first one we've got is my favorite in the quad, uh, ironically enough, because there was a blue. This one's a uh, doorbuster and the doorbuster is going to be five dollars while supplies last. That's a fantastic price. This one is described as a deep emerald green hollow base with blue to purple Aurora shimmer. There are 55 zero bottles available. 
This is really nice, you guys. It's very pretty. I like that the background, the, the base to this is tinted this lovely green color. And then we have this strong blue shimmer coming through. It's really beautiful. I think three coats and a glossy top coat is going to flatter this one the best. And you can kind of get an idea of the inner glow versus the backdrop on the edges of the polish itself. So really, really pretty. And then here we've got Cyber Monday, my second pick. This one is described as an iron blue hollow base with blue to purple Aurora shimmer. She does state in our PR information that this is available for 10 or you can grab it in the set of three for 25. So that's a really good deal there if you're wanting to get the bundle. Cyber Monday has a strong, strong sapphire like glow to it. I think three coats is perfect to plump it out and give it that nice thick look I always like and finish with a good glossy top coat. This is really uh, just striking against me because it's got that really nice, super strong, cool tone to it. So medium to deep skin tones. I think this will pop really well on you. And here we've got Small Business Saturday. This one is described as a blood orange hollow base with blue to purple Aurora shimmer. This one's also going to be 10 or again, you can grab the set of three. So Cyber Monday, Small Business Saturday and Black Friday for 25. Now, uh, this one has a light formula. Of course, it's intended to be. This is a true jelly type formula. So you are going to see a touch of your smile line if you have a prominent free edge. And um, it's just meant to give you that what I call the, the jelly sandals type look from the 90s. I think three coats and a glossy top coat is going to give you that really juicy sort of appearance. This is a very warm base. So I would point out that it's going to absolutely play out with your undertones. And then finally, we've got Black Friday 2023. This one's a bright pink hollow base with blue to purple Aurora shimmer. So this is jelly formula, but not quite as light in my opinion as Small Business Saturday. It does build up really well. And because it's intentionally sheer in that jelly shoes sort of look, I think two coats was the best. I didn't see a need to go up to three because it was very, very opaque and rich in the color. But in terms of the overall sheerness, again, it it's intended to be like that. So uh, plump it up with a good glossy top coat and I was good to go. And then to wrap everything up, we've got the Willet Topper segment. This is where I use a black swatch stick to demonstrate layering capabilities. OK, so going into the Willet Topper segment, I knew that we were going to have quite a bit of success with pretty much all of these because we had a lot of Crelly and Jelly formulas and I was not surprised. Now, finishes like Did I Break Wind that has that more Crelly like formula. I cannot believe I said that with a straight face. Uh, <laughs> it had um, a bit more opacity to it, but I still thought that one toppered well, too. Uh, same thing with the hollows. They toppered well and you can really see the shimmer that is kind of peeking in between these when you wear them by themselves. So yeah, I think they're all very versatile. Uh, Airport looked really cool too. I really liked this one. This is probably one of my top picks in the set in terms of formula, opacity, and just the overall look of it. Very much a holiday color. Now, play ball was a little too creamy in my opinion. So this would probably be the only outlier in the entire video. The velvet polishes topped well. They are quite opaque when you go in with one coat over a dark color, but I still think it worked. And it was funny to me because when I was doing the velvet polishes, I actually ended up emailing Chrissy and I was like, are you sure? <laughs> are you sure these are not special effect? Because I swear they just look like they're um, magnetic polishes, but nope, they are just uh, velvety sort of finishes. Now the Black Friday quad, these looked really cool. Doorbuster gives you a good idea of all that inner blue glow. And Cyber Monday, same thing, lots of glow, very striking on that shimmer effect. And Small Business Saturday and Black Friday, both kind of subtracted away from their respective base colors, but we're still seeing just a touch of that cast from it, which is interesting because it plays up against either the hollow or the shimmer, say like what you're seeing in Black Friday here. OK, so um, because I wanted to spend the majority of my time next week with my family and also uh, working on polish pickup and HHC, 
so much behind the scenes happening here and getting in gear um, and my D-Sash too that's happening uh, this week. Um, I don't have the information for Black Friday for Hearts and Promises yet, but when I sit down to edit this, I will have it. So I'm going to have this all around me and you can see it all over. I'm going to have all the information on the screen here. So I'm just yakking to uh, buy myself some time so you guys could read the information. And I will have all of this also in the description box broken down in a written format. If you prefer that, I will link you to Hearts and Promises and I'll link you to her Facebook group if you haven't joined that too for additional swatches, sneak peeks, interaction with the maker, all that good stuff. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. I think this is the last one for Black Friday. Thank you so much for watching.